I'm Kalina Estrino and right now in your 13 Action News update. A group of local nurses and supporters coming out to demand PPEs, safer working conditions during the pandemic, and also urging Congress pass the HEROES Act. Now, the group participated in the National Day of Action outside of St. Rose Dominican Hospital earlier this morning. The demonstration was one of 200 protests happening across the country. The Trump campaign, the Nevada Republican Party, and the Republican National Committee have filed a joint lawsuit against the state of Nevada. They want to stop the state from having an election by mail this November. The lawsuit filed overnight claims there is a loophole with the new law that allows votes to be cast after Election Day. It also claims the law does not provide safeguards for processing or counting ballots. Instead, it allows counties and cities to establish those protocols. Tonight, a vigil will be held for those two teens who were killed in a DUI crash as they were crossing the street near Maryland Parkway in Katy. Now, both teens were Del Sol students. The vigil starts at 8 p.m. at that crash site, and organizers are asking you to wear a mask if you plan to attend and also bring a candle. Today, that hazy sunshine continues. We're pairing that with a tad cooler as far as the temperatures go. We're looking at 104 degrees for that daytime high. We're docking off about three degrees from yesterday, and we'll take off another three degrees by tomorrow at that daytime high, closer to 101 degrees. Plenty of sunshine, dry conditions through the remainder of the week. Tomorrow, expected to be the coolest day. Along with that, those breezes kicking up to 25 miles per hour today and tomorrow closer to 20 on Friday and Saturday. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktme.com and our free mobile app.